Long back then, uh, hopefully that you are doing great. So in this lesson, I want to say you about the uh, head ng suit, uh, and then I want to say you about head ng annotation. It's very important for you to understand about the annotation uh, and some hooks in head ng because uh, you know um, many people got misunderstand about the uh, head ng annotation, especially for the hooks that we are going to use in many lessons. So today I just want to share about that. So today we will not run anything on, you know, on mobile or something like that. We just tell about TED-NG suit, TED-NG hooks, and then we will clear about that before going forward for uh, all the lessons, okay? So first thing first, you go to TED-NG.org and then you click on the documentation here. It will navigate you to this page. So actually you can read all of the uh, documentation here, but basically I will share you one by one uh, clearly about it. So don't worry about that. So you click on tedng.xml here, and then you copy this sample. Okay, you just copy this sample. That's the first step. Now, the second step does, uh, I already did something here, but I will share you uh, step by step, so don't worry. The second step that you, if you open your project, you go to short test, and then you can see this is the resources folder. You probably don't have a, this folder yet because you didn't create it. So how to do it? So for example, when we create a Maven project, it will automatically put a resources folder under the main here, but this is not our scope. So if you, we want to do something like similar like that, we right click here, we click on, we navigate to new, and then you can see we can have something like, uh, wait, uh, here, you can see when you click on new directory, and then if you don't have any resources folder, when you click here, there will be a succession here related to resources folder, and you click to have a resources folder, okay? So under resources folder here, you right click and just create a new directory again. But now what you want to do that you will create a new folder with the name test suit. Okay, so you can create with all the name, but I suggest that you create with the name test suit because what we do, we will put all of the test suits here under the folder. So in this case, you create a new file. You just create a new file here, and then you put something like that, ng hook learning.xml. You can put all the name as well, okay? So after you create that, and then you paste, okay? What you do, you paste this sample for mask into that file. Now, we want to change something. Let me try to tell you, this is the source level, okay? So you see, this is the source parts. So in each that and the source, we just have only one source here, okay? So this is the parent uh, tag that we have in, in that and the source. The second one that you can see that we have test. So we have many tests uh, in one source. I will explore about that for you as well. But now you put one test tag here and then you can name like test zero, okay? And then we have classes. So for example, if you put something like here, classes here, it will success for you many things inside here. And then you can see we have an error because uh, we uh, cannot put something like, okay, let me try to copy here and I paste here for you. We cannot put something like that. So in test, we have many classes inside just only one text pack here, okay? So we delete it here, classes, and then we have the class. So in classes, we have many classes inside. So this is where we locate, you know, the tech class that we already created, okay? So now just go back, first go back here in the Java here, and then go to the test package. And before we have a test ng basic package, right? So now under the test package here, you create a new package and you can name something like test ng hook because we gonna explore about test ng hook. What you do, you just copy login uh, class here and then you put here because we are not going to talk about any functionality related to npm but just take ng hook so just copy a simple one here and then we rename so inside here okay so after you create something login zero one here okay just go back here let me try to comment out this one 
and then you can see if you put something like login 01 let me show you how to do it if you put something login 01 here it will be a suggestion for you that one come from text ng a uh, pet dot pet ng hook so you click to select and then it will automatically select it that's for you or you can do manually as well for example you put something like test dot pet ng dot hook here and then dot login zero one you see here so this is actually the package name and this is the class name okay so this is the way we put one class into the source for pet ng suit okay so now Go back here. In this, uh, in that slot in zero one class, what we have first thing we have before suit. If you put something like before suit, there will be a succession for you. But in this case, uh, clearly they just involve all of the thing here in the same package. But if you put something like before suit here, you see before suit here, and you click here. Okay, so you can get that from the succession. Okay, so this is before suit, right? So in the, this before suit, clearly it just uh, another void method here. So we can name something like login before suit here, okay? And then we print out. So to print out, you just put S O G T and you hit enter. You can have this one, okay? Let me delete it. You can put something like control delete. It will delete a line. So you put something inside like login zero one before suit, okay? And then uh, we have before test here. You just do similar. We have annotation before test and login before test. Try to create some uh, several methods first, and then I will explain for you about how this works. And then after before test, we have before class. Okay. And then uh, you can see something like I put some uh, underscore here. This is four underscore. This is eight underscore. You will see why I put something like that. Okay. And then you can put or not. It's up to you, but it should be easier for you to see the result in control, okay? So we have before source, before test, before class, and then I put something like after source, after test, and after class here, and then try to distinguish the contents between them here, and then you can see easier, okay? So now the test is very simple. I just print something like this is login test 01. Now I will run this source. So how to run this source? You open, uh, you edit the configuration here, okay? You click on edit. So in the case, you don't have a something like this one. You just create a new one. You hit on the plus button here, and then you select the text ng, okay? After you select the text ng, it's very similar with before, right? But now, observe here, pay attention. The text kite is now shoot, okay? The text kite is now shoot. And then you can see I pointed the absolute, you see, the absolute location of the text ng source here. That's it. Okay. And now I click on OK. So you can switch between login or you can switch between text ng hook here. In this case, I will click the text ng hook that I already created here. And then I hit the run button. Now, it will run the text and the source for me and this class, okay? Just wait a moment. Now, observe the result. So if you click on the source one here, that's mean this one, okay? So you can see the result. We have logged in one before source. So that's mean the before source will run very, very fast. Nothing else run before it, okay? Nothing else run before it. So the before source here will run at the beginning time, we run one test suit, okay? And then you can see the before test here, okay? Now we, we have the before class, and then we have the test executed here. After that, you can see the order, you know, re, uh, re, uh, reverse this. Like we have before class here, and then we have after class here, and then after test, and after shoot. Easy, right? But that is not the end, uh, everything. That is not everything. If you just understand something like that, you may, you know, misunderstand something. So now, what we want to do that we copy this one, and then we put with another name here, side up zero one. So in this side up zero one, you keep every single thing just the same. At least, 
you need to change the you know the content inside like size of zero one and then when it print out you can distinguish between them okay right so now i will enable this one and then you can manually do the same so you just point the class name so let's observe this one we have before shoes here we have before test here we have before class here and after shoes after test after class and then the test as well now i want to run this one okay so nothing changed from the tag configuration i just need to click on run again and then it will pick up this one and then run again and then we can see the result at this time now observe the result this is the first one right so you can see we have blocked in one before source and then side of zero one before source so what does that mean that means at this time all of the before source hook are executed in every single class that you pointed out here or may, maybe you can have all the text here okay so if you have all the text here uh let me do something like if you have all the text here as well okay if you have all the text here for example you put every single content inside and then in all the tests you still have some before hook so all of the before hook uh before source hook will run here just one to one time here okay so you need to pay attention about that first thing second thing you see the before test here all of the before test here will run before any other test class inside run so even you put more and more and more and more and in each of them have the before test so what you need to remember here all of the before test will run at this time we don't have any timing at this task but for you uh, to understand easier you know i just put something like all before test hook are executed at this time so that means it will execute it before any test executed here and then if you observe more you can see now this is a, a little different for before class so before class it will not run all of the thing here okay so before class is something run before each test class you see we have blocking one before class and then we execute the test inside and then we have after class okay and then we execute the before class before class of this test class and then the test inside and then after class now we have after test for login, after test for sign up, after shoes for login, and after shoes for sign up. We just revert the, 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 the order here. Okay, so when you look at something here, you need to remember all of the before shoes will be executed at this time. All of the before tests will be executed at this time. But all of the before class will not execute it at this time. But before class will be executed before any test class is involved okay so this is the way you remember and what's the last mean that mean if you have some before test and you put in the same thing here for example this test class we have before test this test class you have before test again you need to make sure that two of them doesn't do you know they doesn't do the same things because they will be conflicted you got what i'm saying right because they all will execute it here if you have the same reason the same purpose here you don't need to have to be pursued with the same purpose here because it will be uh conflicted for example you create some user with the same user it doesn't make any sense so in that if that's the case you need to have another class and then this class will expand from that class and this class will extend from that class as well and then we can inherit from the before test in those class in those classes okay so that's the thing you need to pay attention okay so uh before the before shoot before test after shoot after test we can have something like before methods okay so uh, let me try to okay i think i can comment out this one and then let me try to demonstrate for you 
one more thing. We have another simple hook that is before method. Okay, so you can guess from the uh, its name, right? So before method, like I just create a new public void. Um, login, we don't need to put login or something like that. Just put something like before method here. And then I will just do something like um, before methods. This is login test 01. Uh, this is before methods. Okay. And then I will have something similar for after methods. Okay. So this hook will be executed before and after uh, any test methods in the tech class. So this one is a test method, okay? So this one is a test class, okay? So this is a test method. Let me try to, this is should be after, okay? After method here, okay? And now we run and then you can uh, observe the result. Here we have, uh, you see, we have before methods here and then we test the test method is involved. So we have before class and then before methods and then after methods here. If I have more than one test method inside, so before it execute any test method, it will execute the before methods and after it execute the test method, it will execute the after methods hook. Okay, so lock in with correct credential and lock in with incorrect credential, for example. And then this is login test incorrect credential, okay? Incorrect. Okay, for the distinguish between them. And then if I run again, you can see here we have uh, before methods here, and then we test the methods, and then after methods, and then we have before methods again. We test another test method and after methods, right? So. Now you can understand completely all of the hook in test ng. So first thing you know how to create a test ng source, how to create a test configuration here. You know how to uh, have some you know annotation related to the hook in test ng. And there is something you know some pitfalls that you need to pay attention about before test and before source. I think it's it's just okay, but for before test. Uh, you need to pay attention and try to distinguish between before test and before class, okay? And then we already learn about before methods and after methods. So I think this is all for test ng source and uh, you know the annotation and test ng hooks so you can use in the real case. So I will share with you more about the test ng source in upcoming lesson try to you know watch this lesson carefully okay because I want to share you in detail about something related to the tech and hook okay so try to explore around uh, bye for now and see you in the next lesson